Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you want to see this look I have on right now, I probably already posted a Valentine's Get Ready With Me featuring the ColourPop Give It To Me Straight palette. But this is a fun little video I thought we would film and it is called my Holy Grail, Where Art Thou? Categories in makeup that I have yet to find my Holy Grail and am desperately always trying to find. So this is actually opens up a great discussion with you guys where you can comment items that you consider your holy grail based off of what I'm looking for, but everybody's always posting these are my holy grails and these are my favorite products, but what about categories that you just have not found your HG for? Let's open a discussion, YouTube. Come on, what are your HGs? Number one is concealer. I have not found my HG concealer yet. Everybody raved about shape tape and this and that and the other. That is too thick for me. I have very dry skin. I like more luminizing, light, soft, but with coverage effect concealers. I thought I had it in the L'Oreal Visible Lift, but it got discontinued. So I did have it and it went out the door. I have tried so many concealers. Either they are too light or too light and dewy where it just gives me no coverage. Like that was to me the Dream Lumi or the Maybelline one that's like the Dream Lumi. Um, I'm trying the e.l.f. one. I'm I'm trying the L'Oreal Pro Glow right now, but Tarte, way too thick. I'm trying the Makeup Revolution Tarte like dupe, but I'm still on the lookout. All right, my camera overheated, but I'm on the hunt for a good concealer. Number two is foundation. I have not found my HG foundation. Um, for a while, it was almost looking like it was going to be the Maybelline Dream Wonder foundation, and then it got discontinued. It was like the perfect water-based foundation for me. I loved it, but it got discontinued. Such is life, right? So I am always on the hunt for a good water-based foundation that is not that gives you coverage but is easy to work with and makes you just look so like porcelain doll but lifelike. Um, I used the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation today and I think I actually really hate that foundation. I know a lot of people love it but I am not vibing with it. I have tried it so many different ways and I cannot get it to work for me. It just, I'm sure it looks fine on camera but in these bright lights but in real life it just shows so much texture and dryness on my skin and I don't like that. So I'm on the hunt for my perfect water-based foundation. Um, a couple I thought I would love. thought I would love the Josie Marin um, Vibrancy Foundation. This is just too tacky and weird. The e.l.f. Foundation Serum is way too yellow toned and breaks me out. The NYX Dropper Foundation is very cakey and dry. Uh, the same matte but not flat is also water-based, way too dry. I'm just on the hunt. Okay? Like, like on the hunt, all right? So my number three is moisturizer. One that looks amazing under foundation and really locks in moisture and doesn't cost $240,000 cause I don't have that to spend on a cream that I go through a lot. My skin is so adaptable. I can love a product for a month, but my skin will figure out its pH, figure out its ingredients, and it'll figure out a way to reject that item. I have very sensitive skin, and it'll make me look dewy and beautiful for a month, and then it'll be like, <laughs> sucker, we figured out how this, this moisturizer reacts with your skin, and we figured out a way to make it look ugly. Um, the It age-defying, um, even the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud, my skin just figures out a way to like let it look good for the first month and then be like, you thought we had you, but back to your dry dragon skin, here you go. And I'm like, F you skin, F you. So I'm just always on the hunt for the perfect moisturizer. Even when I tried those moisturizers, they weren't the perfect moisturizer. And there's really no such thing as the perfect, but my HG. And you know, an amazing dry skin moisturizer that is like, we'll say 40 and below. Let me know. Lash glue. I have a love-hate relationship with lash glue. I use like the duo brush on, I've used the Revlon. I just feel like I never find, like people are like, this is my go-to end-all be-all lash glue. I don't think I have like an amazing lash glue that I'm like, 
that's it. I feel like the duo takes a little too long to get tacky. The Revlon um, stays chunked up in my lashes for weeks. And I'll like try to get tweezers and pull it out, but you're pulling out your lashes when you pull it out. I'm like, it's good, it holds on, but it like you will have a base of just gunk against your lashes for weeks. The dark duo just does not leave any room for error for me where if I like accidentally bump it and I have such tiny eyelids. If I bump it, it's over. Like, peace out, see ya. I got a black line of glue and call it a day. I'm not going out, no plans, good night. So I am finding, looking for my HG Lash Glue. I haven't found you yet. Somewhere out there beneath the pale moonlight there's a lash glue waiting for me and waiting for me tonight. Somewhere out there, foundation concealer too. I know, I'm weird. I've not found an HG primer either. I'm not sure what primer does at this point because I have just not found one that I am like, this is my ish, it fills my pores, that makes me moisturize, that makes me feel beautiful. I have not found an HG primer or setting spray or anything like that. Anything that I have really looked at my skin and been like, that does something. Because once I'm done with my foundation and my primer's done and I put on my setting spray, I'm like, what was the difference really? Like, I, I need to know. And I can tell there's aspects about certain primers I like, whether they're thirst quenching or they make a little more of my skin tacky, but I have not found that primer that I am like, yuff, yuff, I love it on my skin. It's just great. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I know this is a different little video of me just searching for my HGs somewhere out there. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a fantastic day. Bye.